Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life Science with KMD. Today's topic is scientific ways to improve our brain. What if I say that if you follow the scientific instruction, you can improve your brain power? Check this out. Our brain produces five types of waves, beta, alpha, delta, theta, gamma. Every second, all these waves are produced in our body. But each activity, one dominant wave will be active. Delta waves are produced when you are at sleep. At theta state, mind is in and out of a sleep. This is the most creative state of mind. Your mind will come up with great ideas in this state. You know what puts you on a theta state? It's a shower. Where our mind come up with ideas to solve problem. Now the beta state is when you are aware and awake. For example, chatting. Or if you are giving presentation on a meeting. Alpha is the state of relaxed awareness and accelerated learning. Have you ever noticed people when they are watching television, even you are trying to have a conversation with them, they can't hear you. That is mainly because of a trance state, which has been put by an alpha state. This is the state when your mind is at meditation, where your critical mind is kept aside and your brain start to absorb all the information unconsciously. When you wake up in the morning, your mind will be in an alpha state for two hours. If you don't use your mind in a productive way in these two hours, then you're wasting your willpower. Brain-derived neurotrophic factor is a protein which helps in brain cell development. If we have this brain cell more, then we can learn more. We can improve this protein in our body through exercise such as running, cycling or swimming. Neuroplasticity is a situation in a brain in which the neuron cells will adopt itself to the new situation or new environment. Neuroplasticity is important for learning and memory. As brain get older, it loses its capacity of neuroplasticity. Intermediate fasting will prevent this and even your brain will be alert even at the old age. Intermediate fasting increase the expression of a gene called Vita gene which is involved in delaying the age process. Even painting increase the interaction between different areas of brain while slowing its aging process. Our brain is sensitive to dehydration. Our brain is made up of 83% of water. Even a slight variation in its water content will lead to reduced concentration, vigilance, inability to short-term memories and other cognitive abilities. Chronic lack of sleep worsen memory that lead to Alzheimer's. During sleep, our brain removes toxic compounds from our brain. If a person is not getting enough sleep, then it is very devastating effect on him. Therefore, whenever before going to bed, it is suggested not to use laptop or a phone. Because their screen produces a blue light which inhibit melatonin production. Melatonin is a hormone required for a relaxed mood and a good sleep. Next thing for brain is have a positive peer group. Because literally we have a mirror neurons in our brain system. That's why people say that you are average of 5 people whom you spend time with. Like for example, if you spend most time with 9 broke people then you will be the 10th one. Next is clean environment. It's not just your room or a water you drink or a hair you breathe, all the things where you are staying. Have you noticed that when you clean your room or any environment where you stay, your mind will feel clear and have a clarity of thoughts. A daily routine is a great way to keep you on track, but to jumpstart your brain, make small changes. Like for example, try to brush your teeth with left hand instead of a right. This will challenge your brain. Have you ever wondered when you have a panic attack or an anxiety attack, people suggest you to take a deep breath. This will increase the oxygen exchange and slow down the heart rate. This will make mind calmer and reduce the anxiety or panic attack. Though our brain is 2% of our total body weight, it requires 20% of oxygen what we inhale. Next is increase your ability to learn by laughing. When we are anxious or depressed, the adrenal gland in our body produces a stress hormone called cortisol. Long-term exposure of cortisol will damage the cells in hippocampus that reduce the learning capacity. However, research has shown that laughing for a few minutes will reduce the cortisol content in the brain, thus improving the learning ability. Exercises like brain yoga, Surya Namaskar, 
and headstand which increase the growth factor in mind which literally means that it will increase the mind processing power that means you can think faster and learn faster next is music when you listen to your favorite music your brain will produce a hormone called dopamine dopamine is a feel good hormone it will make you satisfied and happy do you know by chewing a piece of gum will actually help you to recall the information yes you heard it right first of all simply chewing the gum continuously will increase the heart rate by around 3 beats per minute this increase the blood flow to brain which improves the alertness and memory so during exam time don't forget to bring the same flavored chewing gum what you used while reading the text next you have to kill the negative thought it's like whenever you are thinking of a negative thing it is like rehearsing it not only rehearsing it it is like rewiring your brain that's why they say a fearful person will die thousand time only a brave person can die only once if you are put up with a brain sensing device and you see some one person is coming inside the room then one part of your brain will lit up even if you imagine that same person is coming inside the room then also the same part of the brain will lit up brain doesn't know the difference between reality and the imagination that's why always have a positive thought excess sugar is not good for brain it reduces the ability to learn collect information or remember information and concentration this is because excess sugar destroy the neural connection that's why it will slow down the brain instead try to have a healthy food which are rich in omega 3 fatty acids flavonoids and antioxidant first is fatty fish like salmon they are rich in omega 3 fatty acids such as epa ecosa pentanoic acid and dha decosa hexanoic acid it helps in new neuron formation and reduce the inflammation in brain cells second is walnut walnut is rich in vitamin e antioxidant and omega 3 fatty acid it helps in improving the reasoning capacity egg yolk is rich in choline and zinc choline is involved in neuron health and also in breakdown of betaine which is involved in production of feel good hormone called serotonin and dopamine avocado is rich in monounsaturated fatty acid and potassium which is required for nerve impulses they are rich in vitamin k and folate which required for brain protection from stroke blueberries are also called as brain berries because it is rich in antioxidant called gallic acid which protects our brain from oxidative stress they are also helps in improving the learning and motor skills dark chocolate is rich in antioxidant called flavonoid it is involved in enhancement of cognitive power it is also rich in theobromine which is involved in alertness of the mind next is beetroot it is rich in iron and natural nitrate which increase the blood flow to the brain green tea is rich in antioxidant caffeine and l theanine caffeine is involved in improving the mood and memory l theanine is involved in crossing the blood brain barrier when these two compound are combined that is caffeine and l theanine are combined they will have a synergistic effect which is involved in improving the brain function next thing you can do to improve your mind is to remember the dream which you had last night during night your brain try to create a solution for your real life problem that's why always you will get a dream regarding your fears maintain a journal in your day to day life because it gives a connectivity between your thoughts and your ideas try to learn new things in your life like chess solve the puzzles or go to new place which you have not seen earlier next try to control your stress because it has a negative effect on your brain so daily go for a walk next is meditation it meditation doesn't mean that you have to bring back your concentration only for that 10 minutes it means whatever work you are doing you have to bring back all your concentration to that work throughout the day that's how you can control your mind and improve your concentration power next is recall and remember this will strengthen your long term memory so try to do it every day finally reading the process of reading will increase the cognitive activity in the brain while we are reading the story the different situation in the story will helps to activate other parts of the brain 
this type of situation or process of activation is not seen while playing the video game so grab the book and start reading so keep all these things in your mind and try to incorporate it in your daily life to improve your brain power thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button subscription doesn't cost you any money to get a notification click on a bell icon do like and share this video with friends and family if you have any kind of feedback do share it on a comment box thank you